Well, 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 what a surprise. What a surprise. My man K-Shine just let us know just yesterday that the URL has banned him from URL premises. Now, some of y'all are going to jump to conclusions and think that I feel a way about this situation. But honestly, my opinion and my take on the situation is probably not going to be what you guys expect. Let's talk about it. Wow, ain't no way. Ain't no way. The URL just took the only opportunity that we were going to have in a while to see K-Shine even touch a URL stage, bruh. They straight yanked the mat from under K-Shine, bruh. K-Shine was about to pop up on stage with Rex versus Chess. We all know this would have been super fire. For one, because we haven't seen K-Shine in a grip. For one. You got a lot of fans out here that are waiting for your return, my man. For two, K-Shine has a lot to say about the URL. So, had K-Shine gone up on that stage for Rex or during one of Rex's rounds, what would have K-Shine said? What would he have said, bruh? Would he have outed or or said something to smack? Would he have said something about... Would he, would, would he have made some type of statement while he was up there? We don't know. But as of right now, it seems as if though K-Shine is not allowed, bro, to be anywhere near the URL of the URL stage, bro. Now, I said in my intro, right, a lot of y'all probably think that I feel a way about this, and I'm going to be like, oh, the URL is wrong for doing this. How could they do this to K-Shine and blase, 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 blah. But I ain't going to hold y'all, bro. I ain't going to hold y'all. As much as I might not agree, right, even, even if I don't agree with the fact that URL is preventing K-Shine from even going to a URL event. Even though I might not agree because, of course, we're fans of K-Shine. We want to see K-Shine and blah, 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 blah. I completely, 100% understand exactly why it is, bro, that the URL is not willing to let K-Shine near a URL event or a URL stage, bro. Some people might be surprised at this take, bro. And trust me, I'm a big fan and advocate for K-Shine, bro. For the unfair treatment of battle rappers, for the unfair compensation, for the fact that these guys are getting rich off their backs. Bro, I'm a bit, I'm a huge advocate for all that stuff, bro. But in this situation, even K-Shine, bro, does not seem surprised at the fact that he's not allowed to touch a URL stage. Bro, if we take into consideration what's been going on with K-Shine for the past... Ever since, specifically ever since that Jack Boy main battle, where K-Shine has been speaking recklessly on URL, trying to expose them for this, throwing them under the bus for that, doing this, doing that. I completely understand why the business would not allow K-Shine to be on the premises, bro. Completely understand it, bro. I saw Chris and Bias's blog earlier today. Salute to my man, Chris, bro. Every time I'm about to make a blog about something interesting, that I'm like, oh, nobody's talked about this yet. Nobody. Bro, I get home from work and Chris already dropped one or two blogs on the topic, bro. This man is always 10 steps ahead of me, bro. I don't know how. How do you do it, Chris? How do you know what I'm about to blog about, bro? And then you just blog on it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, damn, he got there first. But anyways, his take was, Chris and Bias's take, which of course I respect his opinion, you know what I'm saying, is that, the URL should have let K-Shine in the building. They should have because, and it's a good point, it's much easier to communicate and or have a conversation in person than it is via either text, phone, email, third party, whatever the case is, bro. Because context often gets lost in translation. So I completely agree and understand with that perspective from that perspective. You know what I'm saying with, with that? But I also understand from the business perspective of URL, if K-Shine has been doing this and that, bad-mouthing the company, going on, on podcasts, very popular podcasts, such as Math Hoffa's expert opinion, my expert opinion, clips that get 100,000 views, just that in the fifth, just talking negatively on URL and painting a, a very negative picture on URL, it only makes sense. It only makes 
sense that K-Shine is not going to be allowed at URL, bro. It only makes sense. Now, on Chris Unbiased's point, I feel as if, though, if they did want to talk to K-Shine or if there had to be some kind of conversation had, I don't think that that should happen at a battle rap event. Like, because a battle rap event, there's a sole focus, there's a primary focus. We're here to watch battles. We're here to enjoy the event, blah, 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 blah. I don't think that a battle rap event is going to be the place for Smack, Beasley, and K-Shine to try and settle their differences, to try and come to some kind of agreement. They should probably schedule something like that, some kind of meeting or something to where it's them. There's not so many distractions, so many people, so much stuff going on. League owners having to focus on this and that, issues that might arise and pop up. K-Shine with all his peoples and who knows what distractions are going on. Mm, so, so I do agree with Chris Unbiased that they should speak absolutely verbally person to person but i don't necessarily think that a battle rap event is going to be the place to do it here's what k-shine had to say real quick hold up did you did you get any um uh, any more you know stance on the url like any touch any communication rex wanted me to come out with his belt yeah, that'd be fire i was, I was going to come out on homecoming rex told me that they made him out with dance rap now, yeah, I heard K Shine just say that he's not allowed on URL premises, but you also see his face. Hold on, let me rewind 10 seconds. Man. He just said, I can't go on URL premises. This is the face he's making. So, body language is 85%. Of communication. So those are the words that are coming out of his mouth, but look at his face and body language. Oh, that's, that's he starts smiling and looking at the so this is evident that K Shine doesn't necessarily feel a way about it. I'm sure that he understands and or and or expects that that would be the case, seeing as how the situation has been going between URL and K Shine. K Shine doesn't even seem surprised or phased at the situation. What's interesting to me is that. For some reason, Averb does, bro. Averb, the man of the hour, the man of the, the week, the man of the month, the man of the year, Averb, the man who's currently at war with URL, bro, seems to feel very, very, very strongly about this. But K-Shine does not. K-Shine doesn't seem to even be worried slightly, a little bit, about not being allowed on URL premises. I wonder why Averb is so caught up in the fact that K-Shine is not even worried about it. So Averb, why you're so worried about it? I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I do know that Averb is cu currently trying to tear down URL, blah, 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 blah. So why get why Averb would use this as some kind of ammunition to make it seem as if the URL is doing something that's unfair and unjust. But again, you're gonna be surprised at my take here. That is not unfair and unjust. It only makes sense, bro. If I had a company and one of my employees was going crazy, going on platforms, bashing my company about me, bashing me, bashing everything, bro, you best believe you're not going to be allowed at the next event. It got nothing. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. And K-Shine understands it. Look at him smiling. He just said he's not allowing your premises. Look at him smiling. He knows that, bro. That's to be expected. That is absolutely to be expected. Now, here's a, a, a take that's kind of wild, right? Something about this almost makes me believe that there's something else going on. Because again, K-Shine doesn't seem phased. He doesn't seem worried. He doesn't seem at all affected by the fact he can't go onto a URL stage. But he's not phased. So I don't know, bro, if this means that K-Shine and URL might have something in the works, bro. It could be possible. This is far-fetched, bro. But the way that battle rap is going, bro, this is theater. This is theater, bro. This is stage stuff. There's a lot of stage things that go on. And if the battle rap community is led to believe that K-Shine is not even allowed on URL premises, but then a special K-Shine announcement comes up on URL, that would be absolutely insane. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen because I did watch that Chris Mbias blog and he said that he's heard... 
K-Shine's next battle or his next announcement, which should be around December 1st, has nothing to do with URL. But do we know that to be the case? I don't know. I'm not sure. But again, this is this whole battle rap thing is turned into theater, bro. An act. Stage. Staged. So who's to say that this beef isn't pretend right now and this isn't being put out there right now because the announcement that's going to be coming out has something to do with K-Shine and URL. We don't know. I don't know. And I'm not saying this is the case. But sometimes I watch these things and I see these things and I'm like, yo, this could be some kind of game, bro. Just how, just how I, exactly how I think that that whole Remy Ma and Easy to Block Captain thing is a game that's being played. It's a game that's being played. And Remy Ma and Easy are capitalizing on that game. They're capitalizing on it. Whenever there's anything that has to do with Remy and Easy in a, in a caption, a headline, bro, it's blowing up. It's going out of control. People are watching. People are tuned in. These are people that are smart and know how to capitalize on a situation. Business. Remy Ma comes from business, industry. She knows how to capitalize on a situation. Beasley smacking them. Business. They know how to capitalize on a situation. This is how I think when it comes to this type of stuff. But either way... The fact that K-Shine is not allowed on a URL stage or on URL premises as of right now does not surprise me. And I do think that it is fair. It absolutely is fair. URL would look kind of crazy if K-Shine was out there talking all this stuff and putting them on blast the way that he did, but then he's allowed to be on the stage on URL and blah, blah, blah. Smack and busy them would look kind of crazy. Like, whoa, bro, wasn't K-Shine just like completely destroying you guys like right before Verb and blah, 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 blah. And he's allowed to be, oh, wow. That, that'll set the wrong example for other battle rappers. It's you could bash us, you could do this, you could do that, and we'll still let you be on the URL stage and jump in one of our battles. This is our business, but you're still allowed to do that. Averb, I don't know why he feels so strongly about it. Averb, you're in the same boat. I honestly, at this point, do not think that you would be allowed on a URL premises either. And it's just, it is just. Again, I'm not one to be defending URL. Y'all know that. I'm very critical of that in the business. But when it comes to being honest and being for real, like being truthful, I completely get why K-Shine wouldn't be allowed in there. I completely understand why an A-Verb wouldn't be allowed in there, bro. So, I need to know what y'all think of this whole mess, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Joe, coming at you live and direct from the battle.